Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. Today we are back on the Mons Ultimate. We're at Fuji Speedway again, and I'm going to be talking through a couple of things that I'm really liking about LMU at the moment. Um, some things that I even believe that it does better than ACC, which is obviously a surprise because ACC have been killing for the last six years. But I have to admit, man, like LMU is really starting to grow on me, and I feel like this game does have some progression, and I can see a bright future if they just keep on at it and make sure they don't let anything slip. But anyway, let's get stuck into the video. So as you can see, it's me, Carl Printer, and also a familiar name from those who've been watching ACC for quite some time. Joe McCauley was on the track as well. So a lot of ACC players starting to jump online and do these daily races. What I do like about um, Le Mans Ultimate, the start procedure is pretty easy, pretty similar to ACC. And um, yeah, if you don't know right now, the Porsche is the car to be. The Ferrari is a little bit slower, faster down the straight, but overall, I feel like it just doesn't have the turning in, in the tight corners and the fast corners and stuff like that. But, you know, for the first few laps while the tires are fresh, the Ferrari can be a little bit of a challenge to the Porsche, but the tires do tend to fall off in the Ferrari a little bit quicker. And that's another aspect of the game that I really like is that, um, you know, you do have to watch what you do with, with, with the tires. If you have a lockup, just know your tire life does decrease, right? So let's say you have one or two lockups during the race. By the time you get to the last sort of 10 minutes of the race, you definitely fall off quicker. You definitely fall off quicker. You have to really try and not make mistakes. And I, I like that about this game. And for me personally, the biggest thing that I would say about Le Mans Ulmer is the wheel to wheel racing is so much better than ACC. There's, you don't have to worry as much. You can door bang a little bit. You can get a little bit more, you know, elbows out without it being a, a massive incident. Whereas I feel like in ACC, you're sort of tiptoeing when you're behind people because you know the slightest touch and you've, you've killed somebody, you know? Um, and with LMU, it's just, it's just a little bit different, man. You can get a little bit, you know, a little bit argy bargy much more like like touring cars almost not saying that you should you know go and try and be dirty or anything but it does make the racing a little bit more interesting you know um other than that that the balance between the cars right now i'd still say on the gte front is not great um yes the the, the porsches are definitely still faster but the other cars are definitely still enjoyable to drive. Um, the Ferrari, I would say, is probably a little bit faster in a straight line, but the tires do tend to fall off a little bit quicker than the Porsche. That's what I've noticed, at least. Um, the Porsche overall does have a little bit more agility going through certain corners and stuff like that. Um, but for me, the biggest thing I would say in terms of the BOP is they need to sort the Aston out. Um, the Astons just seem to be off the pace of the, the other cars uh, by a, a very, very decent chunk. Um, so you've got the Corvette, the Ferrari, the Porsche. They're relatively close. And then you've got the Aston, which is just nowhere near. Um, they do need to sort it out, in my opinion. Definitely to get the Aston up to speed because one thing about Le Mans Ultimate, all of the cars in the GTE class are very enjoyable to drive. They all feel nice and intuitive. They all have their sort of different personalities, but none of them feel horrible to drive. As slow as the Aston is, it's a nice car to drive. Um, whereas I feel like on ACC, there's certain cars that are just horrible now, you know, they just don't feel nice. Whereas on LMU, the cars feel nice, they're just not quick um, in terms of the Aston, I would say. But um, other than that, for me personally, at the moment, this game is showing great potential. I can't wait for the GT3s to be introduced to this game because then I feel like, you know, because at the moment there's a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a standoff. Some people are against people using ABS. Other people are fine with using ABS. ABS off is faster, but it's extremely difficult, especially if you don't have a great set of pedals, man. I, I would definitely say that the, the sort of the distance between a very good player and a player who's just fast is, is quite big because of how difficult the braking technique actually is to, you know, do races without consistently locking your tyres. And what I do like about LMU is when you do lock your tyres, you definitely lose like a, a cycle of grip. It's not like straight away your car just dies, but it's like every big lockup, that's pretty much just 
two free attempts a lap, two free attempts a lap. And the more lockups you have, you'll notice that your times will gradually become slower. Even if you're not making mistakes on laps after the lockup, your times gradually, because you've worn away a lot of the, the grip that the tire had, gradually you will just you will just lose the time you know even if it's just a a 20 minute race if you're locking your tires up and you're going into corners locking up you're going to lose that thread and I, I like that because it it brings in a lot of driver control where you're in control of how your tires work i feel like on acc the tires have a set life and you know if you've got a good setup or whatever you can get the tires to to a certain point where you know you you don't really have to worry about how you drive specifically if you're not like sliding the car all over the place then you know pretty much that you know the tires are going to last a certain amount of time you can even lock up on acc and it's not as big a deal but on lmu if you lock up you're going to pay everything you do wrong you will pay for later in later on in the stint and I, I like that because it's to me it's a bit closer to like for instance like f1 in f1 you make a big mistake you have a big lock up you know them tires are pretty much they're done you know, you're not going to be able to take them to the, the distance that you would normally take them to. And I, I like things like that because I feel like in endurance races, it opens up more strategic, uh, more a more strategic battle. It makes you think about your setup much more, not just pushing everything towards speed, which is kind of what we do in ACC. We don't really push a setup towards, you know, looking after tyres. We literally just go for speed and that's it. And... Um, those are sort of aspects that I, I really like about LMU, you know. But um, again, with some of the tracks, I just feel like the racing's just, just great. The racing's amazing. And it's, it's difficult to overtake, but it's not difficult to create the opportunities, if you know what I mean. You can get into positions to overtake, but the slipstream's not massively strong. So, you know, you have to work and think about your overtakes to, to make them, you know. And you, you get really close racing, which is, as a result, this makes the race, even though the races are only 25 minutes, um, the daily races, it makes them much more immersive because there's always something going on. And like sometimes, like, I, I wish that ACC had the sort of, the, uh, the way you can battle, the way you can get really close, the way you can rub doors and stuff. I wish ACC had that because it, it makes, you know, the battles you have on ACC not as scary because you always feel like oh if i break a little bit too late and i nudge this guy i'm going to absolutely bin him and then i've got to worry about getting a penalty and stuff like that whereas this you can rub you know and that's that to me that's that's perfect that is perfect um but i will say as i've said before this game needs multiplayer it needs it so badly so badly um once we get multiplayer once we get some leagues going I'm sure more people will be streaming it. It will boost the profile of the game. So it's definitely something that is needed ASAP. You know, definitely something that's needed ASAP. For me, no game can survive without that, that constant community. When we first got onto ACC from Project Cars, everyone I knew was on Project Cars. We all played Project Cars and ACC came out. And after like a month or so, everyone who was on Project Cars all jumped over to ACC together as one sort of one big unit. And it sort of helped the game thrive because there was always something to do. Now, if you're on LMU and let's say that the, the tracks we have for this week are tracks you don't like, then you're probably just not going to play. And that's what kind of kills it. That's why you definitely need the, the multiplayer aspect. But let's see, man. Let's see. Uh, the game does have potential. I expect, I expect the game to fulfill the potential. Hopefully, they don't slack off with the DLC. Make sure they keep things coming. At a, at, um, a steady rate so we always have we always have something to, to look forward to and I think the game will be fine man because I believe you know how the game feels it feels very intuitive to drive you know and the force feedback even on my world which is a T300 a very old wheel even on my world this game feels pretty damn amazing so I can only imagine what it feels like on a direct drive um, for me ACC on my wheel doesn't actually feel that great I'm just very used to it but this game definitely, in terms of feeling, is a step up um, to ACC in terms of the force feedback and how the cars feel and the, just the amount of control you have, you know, the way you can feel the rear end and stuff like that. Um, so really enjoying it at the moment. Definitely, like, the racing, I prefer the racing on, on, on the Mont Ultima. I'm not going to lie. I actually prefer it. And this is someone who's been on ACC for six years from the very beginning. Early access, I've had ACC from day one. 
and I can tell you the racing on the Mons Ultima already to me is a bit of a step up so let's see what the game has in store for us um, the tracks for last week were Fuji and Fuji is a great track and these are some of the tracks that I feel like should have came to ACC if they created an Asia pack you know great tracks that we could have had that we didn't have also obviously we've got Sebring on this game which is another track that maybe should have came to ACC in the in the uh, America GT3 pack as well um, you know just iconic tracks that where other games miss, miss the boat and maybe LMU can pick up from that when the GT3s do come I think it'll put to rest a lot of the uh, arguments people have about ABS and stuff like that because obviously GT3 cars do have ABS in real life so I would think that most people will probably run ABS and obviously we're going to get quite a lot of GT3 cars you know the Corvette we'll have the Lambo we'll, we'll have everything we have on ACC barring maybe a couple of cars but then we'll have cars like the Corvette which we don't have on ACC so that should be very very good and that's what I'm waiting for now whether top leagues like um, low fuel motorsport or apex online racing will switch their attention to the gt3 class on another game is a different question but if they do i'm here for it mate i'm definitely here for it but tell me what you guys think about the mons Ultima and what you think about acc and the future between the two games anyway it's cryptic tnd like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace